A very common scenario in mechanical design is adding hardware, like screws and bolts, into holes. Inventor actually has a special constraint called insert to help position cylindrical components like this. If I take a look at the bolt in the browser, you can see that two mates were added. One was used to align the bolt with the hole, and the other was used to mate the flat faces. The insert constraint sort of kills two birds with one stone by aligning the cylindrical axes and the end faces of the parts. I want to replace these two mates for the pin with a single insert constraint. To do this, I'll delete both of the constraints by right-clicking on them in the browser and selecting Delete. I'll launch the Constraint tool, and in the Type section, I'll select Insert. I'll select the hole and the bolt. You can see the bolt snaps into place, and when the preview looks correct, I'll press OK. Notice that there is only one constraint in the browser called Insert. Also, when I try and move the pin, it acts the same as when there were two mate constraints applied. If you have hardware or other cylindrical components in your design, the insert constraint can definitely save you time.